it's Presley at ActiveGames.com here, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about CS50, or more specifically, CS50X, which is edX's online CS50 course. So you might have seen yesterday, we just posted this random video, which was just me saying hi to all the people in CS50, and I'm going to talk a little bit about why that just got posted yesterday, like, com with completely out of context, just, hey, I'm Tate, hey, I welcome to CS50, and everyone, and you guys are probably pretty confused. To start off, uh, CS50 is a really, really great intro to computer science course, um, and edX, which is basically just this um, place where you can take courses online, like Coursera and places like that, has been running the CS50 for a while. And CS50 used to just be like Harvard's intro to computer science class, and that was on edX for free, so we guys, so people like us, we guys, so people like us could go and take that course and learn about computer science. But what's really cool this year is it's actually um, Harvard and Yale's intro to a computer science course, which is really really cool because now there's two of these really cool schools collaborating on this intro to computer science course, which I'm really excited about. And this is one of the reasons why we homeschool, because we have access to all these amazing resources with these amazing teachers, like David, who's teaching CS50, and we're not stuck with the local teacher at the local school, which I'm sure most of the local teachers are pretty amazing, but we can still go and get these really amazing teachers and take Harvard and Yale's CS50 course at home, which would be really difficult to do if I wasn't homeschooled. So it's definitely really great to have access to such amazing teachers online and not just being stuck with the local people. A lot of times when people are going to make an online course, they just take what they're doing in the classroom and like they record it and then they put it online. And sometimes that works really well, but most of the time it doesn't. So in CS50X, they're doing it really well. They're doing it right. So they do have the lectures entirely recorded and the lectures are great and really interactive and entertaining and they're really, really fun to watch. So you can watch the lectures and feel like you're in the lecture hall and you're, listen and you're watching those lectures. But they also have these online videos so you can both attend the lectures, but the lectures mention things that you can do in person and you don't do in, that you can't do online. But they come with these little extra online videos and all sorts of little tidbits of things that you can put on that is on Online, and they're doing it right to really bring the course online instead of just having the course like just at the some of the things in the course that they're doing in the classroom and then just putting that online they're making it really interactive and great for the people that are watching it through their computers so we actually just finished week zero most of that was because um, the problem set for week zero was to make a scratch program and as some of you know I've been on scratch I've been scratching for about two years now so I could not just make something simple like you click on the cat and it bounces around a little bit and asks you some questions like I couldn't do that so I actually worked really hard I put about like if I if you took all the time I was sitting on the computer it would be five, five six hours um, over the course of a couple weeks I worked really really hard on it so I would really appreciate it if you guys went and checked it out because I worked really hard on it there'll be a link in the doobly-doo I hope you guys like it because I worked so hard so, um, we, we're actually just starting week one, like I said, and we're learning a little bit of C, and what I really love is about the way they're teaching C. They're not just teaching the syntax of C and like, okay, this command does this, and then moving on to the next command. They're teaching the concepts and what everything means and why it's doing this. You're not teaching the syntax, you're teaching what the syntax means, and you're teaching, like, the concepts, like the loops and the booleans and all sorts of stuff they're teaching, and that I'm very familiar with but in tight that but in colored block puzzle piece form and it's just really re it's um and I just want to say um scratch is actually if you're moving from scratch to like C you're gonna be really surprised at how much the how much C actually looks like scratch scratch basically just makes them more like a shape and put some text instead of the like language it's they look a lot, they look pretty similar actually, um, but it's just so amazing and it's such a great way to teach a pro to teach programming because once you learn the basic concepts, you can you just have to learn some syntax and you can program in any language really. So you can start programming in pretty much any language once you learn the concepts behind these, which is just such a great way. So um, we, uh, like I've said many times, we actually just finished week 
zero. So um, we are gonna try and go through it as quickly as possible, but we're still gonna take our time and put lots of effort into the problem sets as well. So we're not just gonna do something really quick that I can be that can be done in like 10 minutes. We're gonna work and put time into the problem sets. And I just wanna say, if you wanna get started with CS50, don't just wait until next year when it starts all the way over again. Go ahead and join now. You can join any time in the year, really. Um, so please join it if you really are interested in learning computer science because it's such a great way to teach it. And we can actually, we'll post more updates as we go through it. And um, if some of you guys are also taking it, we can like help each other with problem sets and talk about concepts that we learned and stuff together, which will be a really great interactive experience. There'll be a link to edX and the CS50 course in the doobly-doo, so you can sign up and take it if you're interested. And so a huge thank you to edX and Harvard and Yale and David for putting this stuff online and making such a great intro to computer science course and I, that I am having so much fun with so far. If you want to keep up with how we're doing on the course, as well as keep up with some other things that we're doing, then please, please subscribe. It really helps us out. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.